Holi, Sanskrit, Holi Holi is a Hindu spring festival, originating from India, celebrated predominantly in India but has also spread to Nepal and many other Western countries, also known as the Festival of Colors or the Festival of Love. The festival signifies the victory of good over evil, the arrival of spring, end of winter, and for many a festive day to meet others, play and laugh, forget and forgive, and repair broken relationships. It is also celebrated as a thanksgiving for a good harvest. It lasts for a night and a day, starting on the evening of the Purnima full moon day, falling in the Vikram Samvat Hindu calendar month of Falgun, which falls somewhere between the end of February and the middle of March in the Gregorian calendar. The first evening is known as Holi Kadayan or Choti Holi and the following day is Holi, Rangwali Holi, Daleti, Dulandi, or Fagwa. Holi is an ancient Hindu religious festival which has become popular with non-Hindus in many parts of South Asia, as well as people of other communities outside Asia. In addition to India and Nepal, the festival is celebrated by Indian subcontinent diaspora in countries such as Jamaica, Suriname, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, South Africa, Malaysia, the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, Mauritius, and Fiji. In recent years the festival has spread to parts of Europe and North America as a spring celebration of love, frolic, and colors. Holy celebrations start on the night before Holy with a Holy Kadayan where people gather, perform religious rituals in front of the bonfire, and pray that their internal evil be destroyed the way Holika, the sister of the demon king Hiranyakashipu, was killed in the fire. The next morning is celebrated as Rangwali Holi, a free-for-all festival of colors, where people smear each other with colors and drench each other. Water guns and water-filled balloons are also used to play and color each other. Anyone and everyone is fair game, friend or stranger, rich or poor, man or woman, children and elders. The frolic and fight with colors occurs in the open streets, open parks, outside temples and buildings. Groups carry drums and other musical instruments, go from place to place, sing and dance. People visit family, friends and foes to throw colored powders on each other, laugh and gossip, then share holy delicacies, food and drinks. Some customary drinks include bang, made from cannabis, which is intoxicating. In the evening, after sobering up, people dress up and visit friends and family. Topic. Significance Topic. Vishnu legend There is a symbolic legend to explain why Holi is celebrated as a festival of colors in the honor of Hindu god Vishnu and his follower Prahlada. King Hiranyakashipu, according to a legend found in Chapter 7 of Bhagavata Purana, was the king of demonic asuras, and had earned a boon that gave him five special powers. He could be killed by neither a human being nor an animal, neither indoors nor outdoors, neither at day nor at night, neither by astra projectile weapons, nor by any shastra handheld weapons, and neither on land nor in water or air. Hiranyakashipu grew arrogant, thought he was God, and demanded that everyone worship only him. Hiranyakashipu's own son, Prahlada, however, disagreed. He was and remained devoted to Vishnu. This infuriated Hiranyakashipu. He subjected Prahlada to cruel punishments, none of which affected the boy or his resolve to do what he thought was right. Finally, Holika, Prahlada's evil aunt, tricked him into sitting on a pyre with her. Holika was wearing a cloak that made her immune to injury from fire, while Prahlada was not. As the fire roared, the cloak flew from Holika and encased Prahlada, who survived while Holika burned. Vishnu, the god who appears as an avatar to restore Dharma in Hindu beliefs, took the form of Narasimha, half human and half lion, at dusk when it was neither day nor night, took Hiranyakashipu at a doorstep which was neither indoors nor outdoors, placed him on his lap which was neither land, water nor air, and then eviscerated and killed the king with his lion claws which were neither a handheld weapon nor a launched weapon. The Holika bonfire and holy signifies the celebration of the symbolic victory of good over evil, of Prahlada over Hiranyakashipu. Kashipu, and of the fire that burned Holika. Topic. Krishna legend In the Braj region of India, where the Hindu deity Krishna grew up, the festival is celebrated until Rangpanchmi in commemoration of the divine love of Radha for Krishna. The festivities officially usher in spring, with Holi celebrated as a festival of love. There is a symbolic myth behind commemorating Krishna as well. As a baby, Krishna developed his characteristic dark skin color because the she-demon Putana poisoned him with her breast milk. 
In his youth, Krishna despaired whether the fair-skinned Radha and other girls would like him because of his skin color. His mother, tired of the desperation, asks him to approach Radha and color her face in any color he wanted. This he does, and Radha and Krishna became a couple. Ever since, the playful coloring of Radha's face has been commemorated as holy. Beyond India, these legends to explain the significance of holy fagwa are common in some Caribbean and South American communities of Indian origin such as Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago. It is also celebrated with great fervor in Mauritius. Other Hindu traditions Among other Hindu traditions such as Shaivism and Shaktism, the legendary significance of Holi is linked to Shiva in yoga and deep meditation. Goddess Parvati, wanting to bring back Shiva into the world, seeks help from the Hindu god of love called Kama on Vasant Panchami. The love god shoots arrows at Shiva, the yogi opens his third eye and burns Kama to ashes. This upsets both Kama's wife Radhi Kamadevi and his own wife Parvati. Rati performs her own meditative asceticism for forty days, upon which Shiva understands, forgives out of compassion and restores the god of love. This return of the god of love, is celebrated on the fortieth day after Vasant Panchami festival as Holi. The Kama legend and its significance to Holi has many variant forms, particularly in South India. Topic. Cultural significance The Holi festival has a cultural significance among various Hindu traditions of the Indian subcontinent. It is the festive day to end and rid oneself of past errors, to end conflicts by meeting others, a day to forget and forgive. People pay or forgive debts, as well as deal anew with those in their lives. Holi also marks the start of spring, for many the start of the new year, an occasion for people to enjoy the changing seasons and make new friends. Other Indian religions The festival has traditionally been also observed by non-Hindus, such as by Jains and Newar Buddhists Nepal. Sikhs have traditionally celebrated the festival, at least through the 19th century, with its historic texts referring to it as Ola. Guru Gobind Singh, the last human guru of the Sikhs, modified Holi with a three-day Ola Mohala extension festival of martial arts. The extension started the day after the Holi festival in Anandpur Sahib, where Sikh soldiers would train in mock battles, compete in horsemanship, athletics, archery and military exercises. Holi was observed by Maharaja Ranjit Singh and his Sikh empire that extended across what are now northern parts of India and Pakistan. According to a report by Tribune India, Sikh court records state that 300 mounds of colours were used in 1837 by Ranjit Singh and his officials in Lahore. Ranjit Singh would celebrate Holi with others in the Balawal Gardens, where decorative tents were set up. In 1837, Sir Henry Fane who was the commander-in-chief of the British Indian Army joined the Holi celebrations organised by Ranjit Singh. A mural in the Lahore fort was sponsored by Ranjit Singh and it showed the Hindu god Krishna playing Holi with gopis. After the death of Ranjit Singh, his Sikh sons and others continued to play Holi every year with colours and lavish festivities. The colonial British officials joined these celebrations. Topic. Description Holi is an important spring festival for Hindus, a national holiday in India and Nepal with regional holidays in other countries. To many Hindus and some non-Hindus, it is a playful cultural event and an excuse to throw coloured water at friends or strangers in jest. It is also observed broadly in the Indian subcontinent. Holi is celebrated at the end of winter, on the last full moon day of the Hindu luni solar calendar month marking the spring, making the date vary with the lunar cycle. The date falls typically in March, but sometimes late February of the Gregorian calendar. The festival has many purposes, most prominently, it celebrates the beginning of spring. In 17th century literature, it was identified as a festival that celebrated agriculture, commemorated good spring harvests and the fertile land. Hindus believe it is a time of enjoying spring's abundant colors and saying farewell to winter. To many Hindus, holy festivities mark the beginning of the new year as well as an occasion to reset and renew ruptured relationships, end conflicts and rid themselves of accumulated emotional impurities from the past. It also has a religious purpose, symbolically signified by the legend of Holika. 
The night before Holi, bonfires are lit in a ceremony known as Holika Dayan burning of Holika or Little Holi. People gather near fires, sing and dance. The next day, Holi, also known as Duli in Sanskrit, or Dulati, Dulandi or Dulandi, is celebrated. In northern parts of India, children and youth spray colored powder solutions gulal at each other, laugh and celebrate, while adults smear dry colored powder a beer on each other's faces. Visitors to homes are first teased with colors, then served with holy delicacies such as puranpoli, dahi bada and gujia, desserts and drinks. After playing with colors, and cleaning up, people bathe, put on clean clothes, and visit friends and family. Like Holi Kadayan, Kama Dahanam is celebrated in some parts of India. The festival of colors in these parts is called Rangapanchami, and occurs on the fifth day after Purnima full moon. History and rituals The Holi festival is an ancient Hindu festival with its cultural rituals. It is mentioned in the Puranas, Dasakumara Karita, and by the poet Kalidasa during the 4th century reign of Chandragupta II. The celebration of Holi is also mentioned in the 7th century Sanskrit drama Ratnavali. The festival of Holi caught the fascination of European traders and British colonial staff by the 17th century. Various old editions of Oxford English Dictionary mention it, but with varying, phonetically derived spellings, Huli 1687, Huli 1698, Huli 1789, Holi 1809, Holi 1825, and Holi in editions published after 1910. There are several cultural rituals associated with Holi. Prepare Holika pyre for bonfire Days before the festival people start gathering wood and combustible materials for the bonfire in parks, community centers, near temples and other open spaces. On top of the pyre is an effigy to signify Holika who tricked Prahalad into the fire. Inside homes, people stock up on pigments, food, party drinks and festive seasonal foods such as gujiya, mithri, malpuas and other regional delicacies. Holika Dahan on the eve of Holi, typically at or after sunset, the pyre is lit, signifying Holika Dayan. The ritual symbolizes the victory of good over evil. People gather around the fire to sing and dance. Play with color Holi frolic and celebrations begin the morning after the Holika bonfire. There is no tradition of holding puja prayer, and the day is for partying and pure enjoyment. Children and young people form groups armed with dry colors, colored solution and water guns pitchkaris, water balloons filled with colored water, and other creative means to color their targets. Traditionally, washable natural plant-derived colors such as turmeric, neem, dhak, and kumkum were used, but water-based commercial pigments are increasingly used. All colors are used. Everyone in open areas such as streets and parks is game, but inside homes or at doorways only dry powder is used to smear each other's face. People throw colors and get their targets completely colored up. It is like a water fight, but with colored water. People take delight in spraying colored water on each other. By late morning, everyone looks like a canvas of colors. This is why Holi is given the name, Festival of Colors. Groups sing and dance, some playing drums and dolak. After each stop of fun and play with colors, people offer gujiya, mithri, malpuas and other traditional delicacies. Cold drinks, including adult drinks based on local intoxicating herbs, are also part of the holy festivity. Other variations In the Braj region around Mathura, in North India, the festivities may last more than a week. The rituals go beyond playing with colors, and include a day where men go around with shields and women have the right to playfully beat them on their shields with sticks. In South India, some worship and make offerings to Kaamadeva, the love god of Indian mythology. The after party after a day of play with colors, people clean up, wash and bathe, sober up and dress up in the evening and greet friends and relatives by visiting them and exchanging sweets. Holi is also a festival of forgiveness and new starts, which ritually aims to generate harmony in the society. <inaudible> Regional names, rituals and celebrations Holi Hindi, Holi Marathi, Holi Nepali, Holi Punjabi, Holi Kannada, Holi Telugu, Holi is also known as Fakua or Fagwa Assamese, Fakura a festival of colors, or Dola Jatra in Odisha, and as Dal Jatra Assamese, Dala Yatra or Basanto Utsav, Spring Festival, in West Bengal and Assam. 
The customs and celebrations vary between regions of India. Holi is of particular significance in the Braj region, which includes locations traditionally associated with the Lord Krishna, Mathura, Vrindavan, Nangone, Uttar Pradesh, and Barsana, which become touristic during the season of Holi. Outside India and Nepal, Holi is observed by the minority Hindus in Bangladesh and Pakistan as well in countries with large Indian subcontinent diaspora populations such as Suriname, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, South Africa, Malaysia, the United Kingdom, the United States. States, Canada, Australia, Mauritius, and Fiji. The holy rituals and customs outside South Asia also vary with local adaptations. India Gujarat In Gujarat, Holi is a two-day festival. On the evening of the first day people light the bonfire. People offer raw coconut and corn to the fire. The second day is the festival of color or Daleti, celebrated by sprinkling colored water and applying colors to each other. Dwarka, a coastal city of Gujarat, celebrates Holi at the Dwarkadish temple and with citywide comedy and music festivities. Falling in the Hindu month of Falguna, Holi marks the agricultural season of the Rabi crop. In Ahmedabad in Gujarat, in western India, a pot of buttermilk is hung high over the streets and young boys try to reach it and break it by making human pyramids. The girls try to stop them by throwing coloured water on them to commemorate the pranks of Krishna and the cowherd boys to steal butter and gopis while trying to stop the girls. The boy who finally manages to break the pot is crowned the holy king. Afterwards, the men, who are now very colourful, go out in a large procession to alert people of Krishna's possible appearance to steal butter from their homes. In some places there is a custom in undivided Hindu families that the woman beats her brother-in-law with a sari rolled up into a rope in a mock rage and tries to drench him with colors, and in turn, the brother-in-law brings sweets Indian desserts to her in the evening. <laughs> Uttar Pradesh Barsana, a town near Mathura in the Braj region of Uttar Pradesh, celebrates Lath Mar Holi in the sprawling compound of the Radha Rani temple. Thousands gather to witness the Lath Mar Holi when women beat up men with sticks as those on the sidelines become hysterical, sing holy songs and shout, Shri Radhi, or Shri Krishna. The holy songs of Braj Mandal are sung in pure Braj, the local language. Holi celebrated at Barsana is unique in the sense that here women chase men away with sticks. Males also sing provocative songs in a bid to invite the attention of women. Women then go on the offensive and use long staves called lathis to beat the men, who protect themselves with shields. Mathura, in the Braj region, is the birthplace of Lord Krishna. In Vrindavan this day is celebrated with special puja and the traditional custom of worshipping Lord Krishna, here the festival lasts for 16 days. All over the Braj region and neighboring places like Hathras, Aligarh, and Agra, Holi is celebrated in more or less the same way as in Mathura, Vrindavan and Barsana. A traditional celebration includes Matki Fad, similar to Dahi Handi in Maharashtra and Gujarat during Krishna Janmashtami, both in the memory of God Krishna who is also called Makan Chor literally, butter thief. This is a historic tradition of the Braj region as well as the western region of India. An earthen pot filled with butter or other milk products is hung high by a rope. Groups of boys and men climb on each other's shoulder to form pyramids to reach and break it, while girls and women sing songs and throw colored water on the pyramid to distract them and make their job harder. This ritual sport continues in Hindu diaspora communities. Outside Braj, in the Kanpur area, Holi lasts seven days with color. On the last day, a grand fair called Ganga Mela or the Holi Mela is celebrated. This Mela fair was started by freedom fighters who fought British rule in the First Indian War of Independence in 1857 under the leadership of Nana Saheb. The Mela is held at various ghats along the banks of the river Ganga in Kanpur, to celebrate the Hindus and Muslims who together resisted the British forces in the city in 1857. On the eve of Ganga Mela, all government offices, shops, and courts generally remain closed. The Ganga Mela marks the official end of the Festival of Colours. Or Holi in Kanpur, in Gorakhpur, the northeast district of Uttar Pradesh, the day pig Holi starts with a special puja. This day, called Holi Milan, is considered to be the most colorful day of the year, promoting brotherhood among the people. 
People visit every house and sing holy songs and express their gratitude by applying colored powder a beer. It is also considered the beginning of the year, as it occurs on the first day of the Hindu calendar year Panchang. Uttarakhand Kumaoni Holi in Uttarakhand includes a musical affair. It takes different forms such as the Baithki Holi, the Kari Holi and the Mahila Holi. In Baithki Holi and Kari Holi, people sing songs with a touch of melody, fun and spiritualism. These songs are essentially based on classical ragas. Baithki Holi, Baithaki Holi also known as Nirvan Ki Holi, begins from the premises of temples, where holiars holiara sing holy songs and people gather to participate, along with playing classical music. The songs are sung in a particular sequence depending on the time of day, for instance, at noon the songs are based on Pilu, Bimpalasi and Sarang Ragas, while evening songs are based on the Ragas such as Kalyan, Shyamkalyan and Yaman. The Kari Holi, Kari Holi is mostly celebrated in the rural areas of Kaman. The songs of the Kari Holi are sung by the people, who, sporting traditional white churidar payahama and kurta, dance in groups to the tune of ethnic musical instruments such as the Dhol and Herka. In the Kaman region, the Holika Pyre, known as Chir, Sira is ceremonially built in a ceremony known as Chir Bundan Sira Bandana 15 days before Dulhendi. The Chir is a bonfire with a green paya tree branch in the middle. The Chir of every village and neighborhood is rigorously guarded as rival Mohalas try to playfully steal each other's Chir. The colors used on Holi are derived from natural sources. Dulhendi, known as Sharadi Shirari from Chirad, Sharara is made from flower extracts, ash and water. Holi is celebrated with great gusto much in the same way all across North India. <laughs> Bihar, Jharkhand Holi is known as Fagua in the local Bhojpuri dialect. In this region as well, the legend of Holika is prevalent. On the eve of Falgun Purnima, people light bonfires. They put dried cow dung cakes, wood of the arad or reddy tree and holika tree, grains from the fresh harvest and unwanted wood leaves in the bonfire. At the time of holika people assemble near the pyre. The eldest member of the gathering or a purohit initiates the lighting. He then smears others with color as a mark of greeting. Next day the festival is celebrated with colors and a lot of frolic. Traditionally, people also clean their houses to mark the festival. Holi Milan is also observed in Bihar, where family members and well wishers visit each other's family, apply colors on each other's faces, and on feet, if elderly. Usually, this takes place on the evening of Holy Day after Holi with wet colors is played in the morning through afternoon. Due to large-scale internal migration issues faced by the people, recently this tradition has slowly begun to transform, and it is common to have Holi Milan on an entirely different day either before or after the actual day of Holi. Children and youths take extreme delight in the festival. Though the festival is usually celebrated with colors, in some places people also enjoy celebrating Holi with water solutions of mud or clay. Folk songs are sung at high pitch and people dance to the sound of the dolak a two-headed hand drum and the spirit of holi. Intoxicating bang, made from cannabis, milk and spices, is consumed with a variety of mouth-watering delicacies, such as pakoras and thandai, to enhance the mood of the festival. <inaudible> Odisha The people of Odisha celebrate Dola. On the day of Holi where the icons of Jagannath replace the icons of Krishna and Radha. Dola Melana, processions of the deities are celebrated in villages and boga is offered to the deities. Dola Yatra was prevalent even before 1560 much before Holi was started where the idols of Jagannatha, Balabhadra and Subhadra used to be taken to the Dola Mandapa podium in Jagannath temple. People used to offer natural colors known as Abira to the deities and apply on each other's feet. <inaudible> West Bengal In West Bengal, Holi is known by the name of Dal Jatra, Dal Purnima, or the Swing Festival. The festival is celebrated in a dignified manner by placing the icons of Krishna and Radha on a picturesquely decorated palanquin which is then taken round the main streets of the city or the village. On the Dal Purnima day in the early morning, students dress up in saffron-colored or pure white clothes and wear garlands of fragrant flowers. 
They sing and dance to the accompaniment of musical instruments, such as the ectera, dubri, and veena. The devotees take turns to swing them while women dance around the swing and sing devotional songs. During these activities, the men keep spraying colored water and colored powder, a beer, at them. Topic. Assam Holi, also called Fakua Fakura in Assamese, is celebrated all over Assam. Locally called Dal Jatra, associated with Satras of Barpada, Holi is celebrated over two days. On the first day, the burning of clay huts are seen in Barpada and Lower Assam which signifies the legends of Holika. On the second day of it, Holi is celebrated with color powders. The holy songs in chorus devoted to Lord Krishna are also sung in the regions of Barpada. Topic. Goa Holi is locally called Yukuli in Konkani. It is celebrated around the Konkani temple called Gosraipuram temple. It is a part of the Gon or Konkani spring festival known as Sigmo or Sagamo in Konkani or Sisaratsava, which lasts for about a month. The color festival or Holi is a part of longer, more extensive spring festival celebrations. Holi festivities but not Sigmo festivities include, Holika Puja and Dayan, Dulvad or Duli Vandan, Haldun or offering yellow and saffron color or gulal to the deity. <laughs> Maharashtra In Maharashtra, Holi Purnima is also celebrated as Shimga, festivities that last five to seven days. A week before the festival, youngsters go around the community, collecting firewood and money. On the day of Shimga, the firewood is heaped into a huge pile in each neighborhood. In the evening, the fire is lit. Every household brings a meal and dessert, in the honor of the fire god. Puran Poli is the main delicacy and children shout, Holi Ri Holi Puranachi Poli. Shimga celebrates the elimination of all evil. The color celebrations here take place on the day of Rang Panchami, five days after Shimga. During this festival, people are supposed to forget and forgive any rivalries and start new healthy relations with all. <laughs> Manipur Manipuris celebrate Holi for six days. Here, this holiday merges with the festival of Yaosang. Traditionally, the festival commences with the burning of a thatched hut of hay and twigs. Young children go from house to house to collect money, locally known as nakadang or nakathang, as gifts on the first two days. The youths at night perform a group folk dance called Tabal Chongba on the full moon night of Lamta Falgun, traditionally accompanied by folk songs and rhythmic beats of the indigenous drum, but nowadays by modern bands and fluorescent lamps. In Krishna temples, devotees sing devotional songs, perform dances and celebrate with abur wearing traditional white and yellow turbans. On the last day of the festival, large processions are taken out to the main Krishna temple near Imphal where several cultural activities are held. In recent decades, yaosang, a type of Indian sport, has become common in many places of the valley, where people of all ages come out to participate in a number of sports that are somewhat altered for the holiday. Topic Karnataka Traditionally, in rural Karnataka children collect money and wood in the weeks prior to Holi, and on Kamadahana night all the wood is put together and lit. The festival is celebrated for two days. People in northern parts of Karnataka prepare special food on this day. In Sursi, Karnataka, Holi is celebrated with a unique folk dance called Padara Vesha, which is performed during the nights beginning five days before the actual festival day. The festival is celebrated every alternate year in the town, which attracts a large number of tourists from different parts of the India. Topic Telangana As in other parts of India, in rural Telangana, children celebrate Kamuda and collect money, rice, corn and wood for weeks prior to Holi, and on Kamuda night all the wood is put together and set on fire. Hindus celebrate Holi as it relates to the legend of Kama Deva. Holi is known by three names, Kamavilas, Kaman Pandagai and Kama Dahanam Topic Jammu and Kashmir In Jammu and Kashmir, holy celebrations are much in line with the general definition of holy celebrations, a high-spirited festival to mark the beginning of the harvesting of the summer crop, with the throwing of colored water and powder and singing and dancing. Topic Punjab and Himachal Pradesh In Punjab, holy is preceded by holy Kadayan the night before. On the day of holy, people engage in throwing colors on each other. For locals, Holi marks the end of winter. 
The Punjabi saying Thagan Fal Lagan Thagan is the month for fructifying exemplifies the seasonal aspect of Holi. Trees and plants start blossoming from the day of Basant and start bearing fruit by Holi. During Holi in Punjab, walls and courtyards of rural houses are enhanced with drawings and paintings similar to Rangoli in South India, Mandana in Rajasthan, and rural arts in other parts of India. This art is known as Chauk Purana or Chauk Purana in Punjab and is given shape by the peasant women of the state. In courtyards, this art is drawn on cloth. The art includes drawing tree motifs, flowers, ferns, creepers, plants, peacocks, palanquins, geometric patterns along with vertical, horizontal and oblique lines. These arts add to the festive atmosphere. Folk theatrical performances known as swang or now tanki take place during Holi, with the latter originating in the Punjab. Topic Nepal Holi, along with many other Hindu festivals, is celebrated in Nepal as a national festival. It is an important major Nepal-wide festival along with Dashain and Tihar Deepawali. It is celebrated in the Nepali month of Phagan same date as Indian Holi, and signifies the legends of the Hindu god Krishna. Newar Buddhists and others worship Saraswati shrine in Vajrayajini temples and celebrate the festival with their Hindu friends. Traditional concerts are held in most cities in Nepal, including Kathmandu, Narayangar, Pokhara, Hetauda, and Dharan, and are broadcast on television with various celebrity guests. People walk through their neighborhoods to celebrate Holi by exchanging colors and spraying colored water on one another. A popular activity is the throwing of water balloons at one another, sometimes called lola meaning water balloon. Many people mix bang in their drinks and food, as is also done during Shivaratri. It is believed that the combination of different colors at this festival takes all sorrow away and makes life itself more colorful. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Indian diaspora. Over the years, Holi has become an important festival in many regions wherever Indian diaspora were either taken as indentured laborers during colonial era or where they emigrated on their own and are now present in large numbers such as in Africa, North America, Europe, Latin America and parts of Asia such as Fiji. Suriname Holi is a national holiday in Suriname. It is called Pagwa festival and is celebrated to mark the beginning of spring and Hindu mythology. In Suriname, Holi Pagwa is a festival of color. It is customary to wear old white clothes on this day, be prepared to get them dirty and join in the color throwing excitement and party. Trinidad and Tobago Fagwa is normally celebrated in Trinidad and Tobago on the Sunday closest to the actual date of Fagwa. It is celebrated with a lot of color and splendor, along with the singing on traditional Fagwa songs or chowl Guyana Fagwa is a national holiday in Guyana, and peoples of all races and religions participate in the celebrations. The main celebration in Georgetown is held at the Mandir in Prashad Nagar. Fiji Indo Fijians celebrate Holi as festival of colors, folk songs, and dances. The folk songs sung in Fiji during Holi season are called Fog Gayan. Fagan, also written as Falgan, is the last month of the Hindu calendar. Holi is celebrated at the end of Fagan. Holi marks the advent of spring and ripening of crops in northern India. Not only it is a season of romance and excitement, folk songs and dances, it is also an occasion of playing with powder, perfumes and colors. Many of the holy songs in Fiji are around the theme of love relationship between Radha and Krishna. Mauritius Holi in Mauritius comes close on the heels of Shivaratri. It celebrates the beginning of spring, commemorating good harvests and the fertile land. Hindus believe it is a time of enjoying spring's abundant colors and saying farewell to winter. It is considered one of the most exhilarating religious holidays in existence. During this event, participants hold a bonfire, throw colored powder at each other, and celebrate wildly. United States Sholi is celebrated in many U.S. states. It is usually hosted in temples or cultural halls. Members of Hindu associations and volunteers assist in hosting the event along with temple devotees. Some of the places known to celebrate Holi are New Brunswick NJ, Spanish Fork Utah, Houston TX, Dallas TX, South El Monte CA, Boston MA, Potomac MD, and Chicago IL. Indonesia and Indonesia, Indian Indonesians and Hindu peoples celebrate Holi as Festival of Colors. The main celebrations in Maidan and Bali. Topic: Pakistan 
Holi is celebrated by the minority Hindu population in Pakistan. Community events by Hindus have been reported by Pakistani media in various cities such as Karachi, Hazara, Rawalpindi, Sindh, Hyderabad, Multan, and Lahore. Holi was not a public holiday in Pakistan from 1947 to 2016. Holi along with Diwali for Hindus, and Easter for Christians, was adopted as public holiday resolution by Pakistan's parliament in 2016, giving the local governments and public institutions the right to declare Holi as a holiday and grant leave for its minority communities, for the first time. This decision has been controversial, with some Pakistanis welcoming the decision, while others criticizing it, with the concern that declaring Holi a public holiday advertises a Hindu festival to Pakistani children. Traditional sources of colors The spring season, during which the weather changes, is believed to cause viral fever and cold. The playful throwing of natural colored powders, called gulal, has a medicinal significance. The colors are traditionally made of neem, kumkum, haldi, bilva, and other medicinal herbs prescribed by Ayurvedic doctors. Many colors are obtained by mixing primary colors. Artisans produce and sell many of the colors from natural sources in dry powder form, in weeks and months preceding holy. Some of the traditional natural plant-based sources of colors are Orange and red The flowers of palash or tesu tree, also called the flame of the forest, are typical source of bright red and deep orange colors. Powdered fragrant red sandalwood, dried hibiscus flowers, madder tree, radish, and pomegranate are alternate sources and shades of red. Mixing lime with turmeric powder creates an alternate source of orange powder, as does boiling saffron in water. Green mahendi and dried leaves of gulmohor tree offer a source of green color. In some areas, the leaves of spring crops and herbs have been used as a source of green pigment. Yellow Haldi turmeric powder is the typical source of yellow color. Sometimes this is mixed with chickpeas, gram or other flour to get the right shade. Bale fruit, amaltas, species of chrysanthemums, and species of marigold are alternate sources of yellow. Blue indigo plant, Indian berries, species of grapes, blue hibiscus and jacaranda flowers are traditional sources of blue color for holi. Magenta and purple beetroot is the traditional source of magenta and purple color. Often these are directly boiled in water to prepare colored water. Brown dried tea leaves offer a source of brown colored water. Certain clays are alternate source of brown. Black species of grapes, fruits of amla gooseberry, and vegetable carbon charcoal offer gray to black colors. <laughs> Holy powder <laughs> <laughs> Synthetic colors Natural colors were used in the past to celebrate holy safely by applying turmeric, sandalwood paste, extracts of flowers and leaves. As the spring blossoming trees that once supplied the colors used to celebrate holy have become more rare, chemically produced industrial dyes have been used to take their place in almost all of urban India. Due to the commercial availability of attractive pigments, slowly the natural colors are replaced by synthetic colors. As a result, it has caused mild to severe symptoms of skin irritation and inflammation. Lack of control over the quality and content of these colors is a problem, as they are frequently sold by vendors who do not know their origin. A 2007 study found that malachite green, a synthetic bluish-green dye used in some colors during Holy Festival, was responsible for severe eye irritation in Delhi, if eyes were not washed upon exposure. Though the study found that the pigment did not penetrate through the cornea, malachite green is of concern and needs further study. Another 2009 study reports that some colors produced and sold in India contain metal based industrial dyes, causing an increase in skin problems to some people in the days following Holi. These colors are produced in India, particularly by small informal businesses, without any quality checks and are sold freely in the market. The colors are sold without labeling, and the consumer lacks information about the source of the colors, their contents, and possible toxic effects. In recent years, several non-governmental organizations have started campaigning for safe practices related to the use of colors. Some are producing and marketing ranges of safer colors derived from natural sources such as vegetables and flowers. These reports have galvanized a number of groups into promoting more natural celebrations of holi. 
Development Alternatives, Delhi and Kalpavrish, Kalpavrish Environment Action Group, Pune, the Clean India Campaign and Society for Child Development, through its Avakayam Cooperative Campaign have launched campaigns to help children learn to make their own colours for holy from safer, natural ingredients. Meanwhile, some commercial companies such as the National Botanical Research Institute have begun to market herbal dyes, though these are substantially more expensive than the dangerous alternatives. However, it may be noted that many parts of rural India have always resorted to natural colours and other parts of festivities more than colours due to availability. In urban areas, some people wear nose mask and sun glasses to avoid inhaling pigments and to prevent chemical exposure to eyes. Topic. Environmental impact An alleged environmental issue related to the celebration of Holi is the traditional Holika bonfire, which is believed to contribute to deforestation. Activists estimate Holika causes 30,000 bonfires every year, with each one burning approximately 100 kg of wood. This represents less than 0.0001% of 350 million tons of wood India consumes every year. As one of the traditional fuels for cooking and other uses, the use of heavy metal based pigments during Holi is also reported to cause temporary wastewater pollution, with the water systems recovering to pre festival levels within five days. <laughs> Flammability In June 2015, hundreds of concert goers in Bali district, Taiwan were severely injured in the Formosa Fun Coast explosion, including 15 who died later in hospital, after three tons of corn starch powder mixed with food coloring was sprayed onto the crowd at a high velocity, causing a massive explosion. The method of powder application at the concert created an extremely dense dust cloud over the stage and its immediate vicinity. People near the stage were standing ankle deep in colored corn starch powder and the powder was suspended into the air using air blowers as well as compressed gas canisters. Initial investigations into the explosion showed the ignition of the suspended corn starch powder was likely caused by a cigarette or spark. An Asia One report states that such an explosion can occur, under certain conditions, not just with corn starch but with powder form of any agricultural product such as powdered milk, soya flour, cornflour, rice dust, spice powders, sugar, tapioca, cocoa powder, coconut shell dust, coffee dust, garlic powder, grass dust, malted hops, lemon peel dust, oat flour, peanut skins, tea and tobacco." And that, "...the crucial element is not the composition of the powder itself, but whether it's deployed under high pressure with a flame nearby." According to Williamson, flammable powder or dust suspended in air in high concentrations is explosive. Williamson notes that dust cloud explosions can only occur if the dust concentration is within certain limits. In general the lowest concentration of dust that can give a dust explosion is around 50 to 100 grams per cubic meter and the maximum is 2 to 3 kilograms per cubic meter. These limits are dependent on the particular chemical in question. It is usually easy to see if a cloud is explosible, as visibility through a dust cloud, even at the lowest concentrations, is impaired. During traditional holy celebrations in India, Reinhardt writes, colours are exchanged in person by tenderly applying coloured powder to another person's cheek, or by spraying and dousing others with buckets of coloured water. <laughs> Influence on other cultures Holi is celebrated as a social event in parts of the United States. For example, at Sri Sri Radha Krishna Temple in Spanish Fork, Utah, NYC Holi High in Manhattan, New York and Festival of Colors, Holi NYC in New York City, New York, Holi is celebrated as the Festival of Color, where thousands of people gather from all over the United States, play and mingle. Holi-inspired events A number of holy inspired social events have also surfaced, particularly in Europe and the United States, often organized by companies as for profit or charity events with paid admission, and with varying scheduling that does not coincide with the actual holy festival. 
These have included wholly inspired music festivals such as the Festival of Colors Tour and Holy One, which feature timed throws of Holy Powder, and 5K Run franchises such as the Color Run, Holy Run, and Color Me Rad, in which participants are doused with the powder at per kilometer checkpoints. The BIH Color Festival is a wholly inspired electronic music festival held annually in Birchko, Bosnia and Herzegovina. There have been concerns that these events appropriate and trivialize aspects of holy for commercial gain. Downplaying or completely ignoring the cultural and spiritual roots of the celebration. Organizers of these events have argued that the costs are to cover various key aspects of their events, such as safe color powders, safety and security, and entertainment. Topic. See also Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links Holi, Festival of Colors Government of Goa, India How to Practice Safe Holi, Government of India Holy in Pictures from the Guardian Festival of Colors National Geographic Education <laughs>